This week, the Environment Committee of the European Parliament has voted a text which is supposed to regulate the air quality and protect the health of European citizens. European citizens which are more and more stricken with respiratory diseases and asthma. According to Julie Gerling, reporter on the air quality legislation, this is great news. Well, I was very pleased that we got a majority and the deal which has taken us over two years to reach will get the approval of Parliament, so very happy today. So we expect to see by 2030 the number of people dying prematurely halved in Europe, and that is a fantastic achievement, I think. But this point of view is not shared by Bas Ecoute, member of the Green Party at the European Parliament. To my mind, it's a very poor deal. So we as Greens voted against because the targets are totally not ambitious to protect the health of our citizens. There is a lot of you know, exemptions in that poor uh, ambition level. Uh, there's no methane in, uh, there is not really a trajectory, so it's only targets for 2030. Bas Ikut means that the agricultural lobby is mainly responsible for what it considers as a poor agreement. Also some sectors are very powerful in, in getting their way. So for example, that methane is out or that ammonium has very low ambition now, it's the agriculture lobby. So it's clear that also agriculture sector needs to clean up for our air, but they manage to really, you know, get all kind of exemptions and, and manage more or less to, to, to dive their responsibility. Seb Dance, member of the Socialists and Democrats at the European Parliament, thinks that member states now need to deliver on the deal. I had a real concern during the whole of this process that member states were rowing back from their obligations, that they were beginning in effect to say we're not going to do uh, any more uh, uh, targets from Brussels, we're not going to meet the targets, therefore these targets need to be lower. We got them as far as we could uh, to the position that we wanted. Obviously it's not the health benefits that we stated, we wanted 52%, we got in the end 49.6%, but they now have to deliver on this. Seb Dance means that a more ambitious agreement with higher decreases of emissions could have reduced the health impact of pollution by up to 52%. Each year, air pollution causes about 400,000 premature deaths in the EU, according to the European Commission. For Roberta Savli, Interim Deputy Director at Health and Environment Alliance, air pollution causes also lots of serious diseases. We know, for instance, that pollution is actually causing or exacerbating some of the most serious chronic diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, lung diseases, and here I'm thinking about asthma, allergy, but also lung cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Recent studies, for instance, have showed that there is now a link with um, prenatal and early childhood development, but also with obesity, with diabetes and even with mental health. The agreement will be voted by the European Parliament during the next plenary session of November before an approval by the Council. But in the meantime, while political groups and NGOs share opposite ideas on the benefits of the compromise, European citizens continue to be severely affected by air pollution.